Hey guys, so today I'm going to film a get ready with me for a Christmas party. I thought this would be a really good video for you guys who are going to the parties on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. And don't mind my fake tan, it kind of got really messed up and I don't know what happened, but don't mind that. So first of all, I'm going to start off with my MUA Super Drugs um, Primer. I like this because it's quite liquidy and it does fill it in my pores but it don't fill it in as it feels as it's silicone I think that it just uh it suits the way that I feel really nice and better and then Jim Bob started to like Skype and FaceTime me I was like what are you doing child what are you doing So then I'm going to use this Nivea Men Balm. It's kind of like an aftershave. I watched this on one of the YouTube videos um, of the Beauty Girls, and she applies it to her face and she said that it lasts her makeup on all day and it does. I do suggest that you guys go out and just nick some. I nicked mine from my brother, I think. And then the next thing that I'm going to use, I like to use this Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Flawless foundation in number light beige 05. This is way too light for my skin tone because um, when I wore it, it, it looked like I got smashed in the face with baby powder. But I like to use this just before I use it, do anything to my face. I just like to put it under my eyes so I have a lot. So it's really full coverage. So I like to put it under my eyes with my concealer brush. Um, put it under triangle so it blends out really nice and you can't really see like the bags under my eyes because I have really bad under eye circles right now. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my ring finger. And then the foundation that I'm going to use today is the Estee Lauder Double Way Maximum Coverage Foundation. And I've got that in number 1N3 Creamy Vanilla. This is one of my favourite foundations right now. I know this is a really, really high-end kind of foundation. Um, I never thought that I would kind of have this in my makeup collection. But when it comes to the choice, I got it during the Black Friday sale. But I think it's really good um foundation to use if you are on a higher budget if you're not then i would say like the wake me up or any maybelline or Rimmel um foundations or mac foundations i do love uh, the mac studio fix but this is absolutely amazing and it blends so softly and it just gives a most fullest fullest coverage ever i don't know what i'd be without this foundation but it's absolutely amazing and i do recommend it to all of you guys if you have if you're on a higher budget And then after that, I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to take this in the number NW20. This is one of my favourite concealers. I don't think I would ever go back to any other concealer. I've raved so much about this concealer and it's just, it's so nice and it gives me a really nice highlighting shade. Also because it is good at highlighting, I do like to get an extra bit of highlighting around like my front, like the T-zone kind of bit. So for that I like to use the Maybelline New York and Instant Anti-Age the eye the eraser eye in light. I just love to use this because it's so it's a drugstore product but it's so nice to just put under my eyes and like round like my like bits like on my chin, top of my lip and my nose and my forehead. And it's just amazing to blend out with also with a damp beauty blender. I think using this Real Techniques Beauty Blender has saved my life. It, especially when I thought that it wasn't going to be good if I damped it. It's, I think it's the best when you use a damp beauty blender to blend out your concealer because it just gives you the most best coverage and it just blends like everything out so nicely. I just, mate, it's just amazing. <laughs>
turns out that I swear and Eduardo clashed. Huh? They clashed. And then I'm going to take the collection pressed powder in number 18 ivory. This is not actually my pressed powder. I've run out of my Rimmy Island and Stay Matte pressed powder. This is actually my mum's. But this is really nice just to highlight where I've put my concealer. And also just put it around my face. So this, the Estee Lauder Double Layer Foundation is supposed to dry matte. I always like to put powder on on top of it. Because I'm the kind of girl who just needs to apply powder all the time. Because... I never know if like my face is going to run somewhere, but you know, that's the kind of girl I am. And then I'm going to take the Rimmy Out London Natural Bronzer in number 02 Sun Bronzed. I've already hit pan on this, but I think this is the most amazingest bronzer ever. I would never go back to it, any other bronzer. And then I'm going to use my Rim my <laughs> Real Techniques buffing brush. What I like to do is I try to get like a nice little crease line there and then I just like to blend it around just to get like it's it's not so harsh around my face. And then I'll use this glam eyeshadow kit. It's absolutely amazing. And then I'll just take the top right top top right hand corner eyeshadow. This is kind of like a nice ashy kind of tone and then I'll take that with my Real Techniques contour brush. I like this because it gives me that really nice crisp looking line but also I just love to blend it out with my stippling brush it don't look so harsh but it does look like I have got a cheekbone if you guys kind of understand to me and then basically I'll just put it around my nose for a little bit just to kind of smoke it out a bit and I would not put any more onto my brush I would just use excess on my brush to go around my nose And because I was working with a lot of loose shadows, I wanted to use this little Benefit Stay Don't Stray um, eyeshadow thing. I don't know what it's called. But I just like to put that on my lid. So then because I was working with a lot of loose shadows, I thought it would be easier just to put this on. Just to prep my eyes and hopefully I make it like stay on a bit longer. And trust me guys, when I applied my eyeshadow, oh. It was amazing and it lasted all day. Even though I had a nap as well, it just lasted all day. And then I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera. But the products that I use to do that is my Maybelline um, eyeshadow pencil. And I use this in number two, Hazel. It's really small now. I need to get a new one. It's I love this. Oh, it's amazing. I've always like... This is like my third one, but it's absolutely amazing. I just love it. And then I used my MUA like gimme brow kind of thing and then I used my W7 eyeshadow in number one latte this is a dome eyeshadow and then I just used a lovely fluffy brush just to put it in as my crease color And then I'm going to use the W7 10 out of 10 eyeshadow palette. Guys, this eyeshadow palette is amazing. I'm just going to use this dark brown eyeshadow colour. Because I like to use this because it gives me like a really nice smoky kind of look in the crease. And I'm just going to zoom you in here a bit, guys. So, basically it just gives you this really nice smoky colour. I do put this all the way into my inner corner but when I apply the other shadow I kind of like overlap that but I like to give it a nice smoky like out of V. It just makes it look amazing guys. Oh it's just so beautiful. And then I'm going to use the Colour Couture eyeshadow pigment in. This is like a really light light very light baby pink this is amazing and i'm going to take this on this little like small round brush i know it's coming up really like white and silver up on camera but trust me guys it is not it's like a really light baby pink it's so glittery it's so amazing oh it's just if you make a mistake with this just go over with like the brat just the brush that you use for the brown and it will just clean it up and then just put the like the pink back on but guys trust me it's amazing oh it's so beautiful and then I'm going to go back in with that brush that I used for the brown. I have no, like, eyeshadow on this. I basically just wanted to clean up the outer V as some of the pink kind of, like, slided on. 
but then that's what I did. And then what I did was I grabbed my eyelash. Oh, okay. Then I grabbed my eyelash curler because I love doing this because it just curls my lashes and it just makes them look really thick, long and voluminous. And then I'm going to use my new favourite mascara, which is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I also got this in the Black Friday sale. Oh, it's amazing. I had the tester before, but now I've actually got like the life size um, one. It's so amazing. It makes my lashes look humongous and so long and lovely. The, it's really nice to use and also like at the end it's kind of got like a bobbly kind of like shaped brush so it's really easy to get into like them that inner corner eyelashes oh it's amazing guys and then then I'll use my Romeo London Kate Moss mascara in number 04 I rock jet black it's so amazing and this is the one that I didn't show my last makeup tutorial with the rock like the crooked heart oh guys these two mascaras together are amazing I got the Essence Lip Liner in number 05 Soft Berry. I kind of really bodged up drawing over my lips because it was kind of like blunt and it was just, it was not good kind of like drawing over my lips. And I actually forgot to show you my lipstick. And the one I used was the 975 Divine Wine Matte Lipstick from Maybelline. Oh guys, this is so so pretty it's like a red when you see it come out of the packet but when as soon as you put it onto like your lips it looks it looks kind of purple but it's just an amazing color it's just a really nice christmasy kind of look oh guys this look put together with like the lipstick the eyes oh guys it's amazing i really want to see you guys recreate this look As you guys know, at the moment I'm loving my highlights and I'm going to use that little glam little eyeshadow kit and I'm going to use the highlighting shade and I'm going to use this concealer, it's an actual concealer brush but I love to use this to apply my eyeshadow, to apply my highlighter. So what I do is I applied it where I applied my concealer before which is my chin, cupid's bow, down my nose, in my inner corner, under my brow bone, on my cheekbone kind of highlight bit and then what I like to do is I like to put like little like C's like backward C's like in my temples kind of bit just to highlight I kind of saw it in a video and it just looked really pretty as you can tell that's what I did and then I blended out my stippling brush because it just looked a bit OTT if I just went out like that and then this is the final look okay on my face when I film these videos I swear and this is the finished look guys I hope you like it I love this look I go from like really weird uh, yeah I have no words. And now it's onto the hair. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hair out and I'm going to put it in. I'm just going to brush it first. And I recently just dyed my hair. So I'm currently running on like fourth, fifth day hair. So when I brushed it, it was really greasy. So I just put a lot of dry shampoo in. <laughs> and then after you've like brushed it and put some dry shampoo in, I put it into a top knot. Which I really like doing when I have like really greasy hair. I just put it up in a top knot and then pull a bit of wispies down, and it just looks really cute and resent like you look a bit like attractive, but it just looks quite cute.
swear when I film these videos, I'm like the most weirdest person ever. That's me for you. And then this is the dress. It's a little black dress from New Look. It don't look as flattering on the camera as it does in real life. It probably probably looks the same to you, honest. Let's be real. Um, but it's really inexpensive and it's a really nice dress. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please give a big thumbs up if you did. Comment down below if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel if you're new because I am weird. I am wonderful. Let's do this thing, guys. I'm trying to get in the new year. I want to get up to about 100 subscribers. Let's do this thing. Yay! Bye.